Hello everyone, welcome to both my new and old subscribers. Thank you for taking our time to watch these videos and I do pray and hope that you actually practice these tutorials and if you're new you haven't subscribed yet, please could you consider subscribing. So today we are making a low waisted or yoke pleated skirt and we'll be cutting the yoke part of the skirt first making use of the waist to hip measurements the waist to hip measurements here is 8.5 inches but because we'll be fixing a band i just marked out seven inches the band length is 1.5 so 8.5 minus 1.5 equals seven inches So next on the waistline, we'll be inserting the quarter waist circumference of 8 3 quarters of an inch. And then on the hip line, we'll be inserting the quarter hip circumference of 10 and quarter. Next, we insert the bust pan. And then the dart length is 4.5 for the front part of the skirt. But because we are making use of band, I minus 1.5 on the 4.5 inches. So what I'm marking out here is 3 inches. That intake is 1 inch. So half an inch on either side of the mid dart leg. So next we insert the seam allowance of 1.5 inches. This waistline 1.5 inches plus 1 inch for that 2.5 inches. So next we insert allowance, half an inch allowance here because that part will be fixing it to the lower part of the skirt, that's the pleated part of the skirt. And also at the top, half an inch allowance also because we are going to fix the band to the top part of the skirt. So what I'm doing here is extending the dart's head so we can, we can hold it easily when we are sewing the dart. And it's time for us to cut out the yoke. So we're going to be using this front part of the skirt to trace out the back part of the skirt. The back part has zip allowance, so we're going to be marking one inch for the zip allowance at the center back. So the reason why I'm tracing this part out is because the, aside from the zip allowance, the dart intake for the back part is 5.5 inches for the dart, le dart length sorry for the dart length but the intake is also half an inch on either side of the mid dart leg so here i'm tracing out the one inch for the zip allowance So 
So I just want to cut out this part out first. So I'm inserting the boss pan. And then marking out the dart length. So for the back, I said it's 5.5 inches minus 1.5. I'm marking out 4 inches. You know, 1.5 for our band. So that intake is 1 inch, like I said. So I'm drawing the dart legs. So I'm extending the dart head also, same thing I did for the front, so that we can easily hold the dart and sew. As you can see, the dart shape is evident, so the dart head, it's evident that it's been extended. So we're going to be using this to cut the lining for both the front and the back part of the yoke. So we are going to be joining the yoke, which is basically like quarter part of the skirt we are sewing. So first we hold the dart, the same thing for the back part of the skirt, we hold the dart as well. And then we sew the side seam. We'll be doing the same thing also for the lining so it is done so we're going to trim out the dart head same thing also for the lining So next we set our fabric to begin pleating. Now the length of the skirt's total length is 27 inches. 27 minus 8.5 gives us 18.5 and then plus 2 inches for the hemline and then half an inch at the top for joining the yoke. So making 21 inches. Hope I'm right. Yes, 21 inches. So that is what I'm marking out here. 21 inches. This are pleats, we don't have to calculate for it, we just have to get the length of the skirt and rule it and then we keep pleating. We pleat until we get the exact amount we want for the yoke and then we cut out. So at the top here, I'm going to go 
in by 2 inches for the zipper allowance. So from there henceforth I'll be marking out 4 inches. As you can see I'm using the wrong side so the chalk can be visible for you to see. But it is said that when you make bus plate on the right side or this side facing us here, the under is going to be inverted plate. What do you think? We'll soon find out, won't we? So it's good to press it so it can lay properly. This is our four, our first four inches that we folded. So from there, I'm still marking out four inches. I think it's advisable to just give the mark, just mark out the four inches or whatever inches you're working with. Then you continue pleating. So here I'm still marking out the length. So just mark out the length and rule it so that when you have enough of what you want for your yoke, it's just to cut it out. You don't need calculation for this box split or is it inverted split? Like I said, we'll find out. So let's continue pleating. So the next thing will also hold that four inches mark and place it and pin. Make sure you pin it, arrange properly, and then press. So pick next one also and fold. It's quite easy actually. Fold and pin. Then you arrange also and then press again.
I just want to use the yolk to measure and see if our pleats, if we're almost there with our pleating. Well, we're almost there. I think we're halfway through. We'll still continue to pleat until we have what we want. So just keep marking the length and marking four inches apart on the waist side of the pleat. Okay, just want to check again. So what I actually did here is that I've, I just sew the top of the pleat, the waist side, so it can stay. I removed the pins and then sew along that upper part. So I'm measuring the yoke on the plate to see if we have what we want. Seems like we're almost there, so maybe uh -huh, a pleat or two, and we'll be we'll have what we want. one more and then we're good so I'm marking out two inches here for the zipper allowance just like I did at the initial stage of this pleating so I'm going to rule that to the length of the skirt So it's time to cut out our skirt. So this pleated part, open it and cut. So don't cut with the pleat intact, just spread it out and then cut it out. Don't worry, the pleat is still intact since we stitched the upper part of the skirt. So we have no worries.
so our skirt is ready and this is the wrong part of it our box split now let's turn it over and see now they look the same to me actually so this place is supposed to be inverted pleat they actually look the same to me the wrong side looks like box pleat the right side also looks like box pleat i don't know what do you think just drop your comments on the comment section if you don't mind so what i'm trying to do here is determining the midpoint or the mid part of this skirt so i can notch it i'll do the same thing also for the yoke Also got the midpoint and then notch it so we're going to match the skirts on the midpoint so the pleats can be spread evenly on the skirt or on the yoke pin it So when you're done pinning this part to stitch this stitch it together and it's all done so we'll be trimming this excess part on the side the other side as well So the next thing to do is to fix the zipper and then stitch the remaining parts of the lower part and we have gone ahead to fix the, the zipper an invisible zipper actually so the next thing to do now is to work on our lining so this is the yoke of the lining so I measured the lower part of this yoke, this whole part, and we're going to times it by two to cut the fabric for the garters because we are going to be gathering that part. There's no point, no points making pleats for it. So it's all gathered and make sure that you arrange it, make the garters even, spread it out evenly. So we're also going to get the midpoint of mid part of this yoke and the gathered part of the fabric. So this is the right part of the lining. The mid part of it also. And then we're going to attach the right part of the yoke. Also the notch part. So notch to notch and we pin.
So you arrange and then you place and then pin. Always open your seam and place flat. So we're going to sew along this part. So it's all done. Next, you remove the gather thread. So we are finished removing the gather thread. We are going to sew our line into the main fabric. So we're going to join it along the zipper side. So all the way to the to the point where the zipper stitch ends. So we end stop there. We'll do the same thing to the other side of the zipper. So I'm done stitching this part. Now in this part I'm going to fold together and stitch. stitch to that point and then the upper part or the waist part will match the side seam the dart match them together and then stitch along the along this part So, you stitch along this part and it's all done. So the next thing to do now is to work on our band and fix it. So we're going to measure the waist. So when we measure this, whatever we have on this waist, we're going to divide by four because we are going to cut our band on fold. So we'll first cut the, the front part on fold and then we we'll use the front part to cut the back. So let's get started. So I'm just here, I'm just calculating, dividing the waist circumference that I just measured by four. And I folded the fabric into two like you see or like you saw and then I'm just going to mark a starting point here I'm just drawing a line oh it's not that visible I'm sorry about that so here I'm inserting the quarter waist circumference that I just measured and then I'm taking up here 1.5 remember that that's the width we care for the dart was 1.5 so I'm taking up 1.5 and then I'm ruling that part or to make sure that it's 1.5 I'm also taking 1.5 from this side and then I'm going to draw a line so um, you know the tummy is not that straight it's kind of curvy so we're going to 
curb this uh, band. Okay, now normally we would have used this as our band, but we're going to get the midpoint of this band and then mark the midpoint on the lower part of the band and the upper part also mark the midpoint. Now from the lower part of this band, I'm going to take up half an inch. So from that point that I took up half an inch, I'm going to draw it to the midpoint. So I'll connect it to that part. So this means I have to draw a new band. So from that point now, this point, I'm going to take up 1.5. And then connect it to the upper midpoint. So our band is formed. So we're going to, this is exactly, this is just our band and we're going to be adding the seam allowance of one inch. This is for the side of the band and then half an inch at the top. This part we're going to sew the lining of the band. And then the lower part half an inch. This part we're going to attach to the skirt. So next we cut the part the band out. So this is the front part is on fold. This is the center front. So we're going to be using this to cut the back part of the band because the back side has the zipper allowance of one inch. So we're going to open this part. This is the center back. That side, that part is supposed to, oh, it's open, cut open. Next, I'm cutting the lining. I'm using the same fabric for the lining of the band. So this is for the front, the back part of the band, I'm cutting the lining as well. So I'm just trying to label the center back so we don't mix them up. You don't think that that is the side, meanwhile it's the center back. So always make sure that you label so you don't mix it up. So this is the center back. So the main and the lining and this is the front part that side is not cut open it's just one long strip
so i'm going to be fusing the the front the part that is going to be in the front or the main fabric with paper or paper stay So I've gone ahead to press the paper stay on the main fabric. I'm going to join it on the side or stitch it or stitch the side. Same thing also. We're doing the same thing also to the lining. So I've gone ahead to stitch the side. This is the main fabric, main part of the band, and this one is the lining. So I'm going to place right side facing right side and stitch along this part and also the side of the band. So I'm done stitching and I'm going to cut this part out to notch that part. You know it's kind of curvy so it's good to notch it so you can spread easily. And this part we are going to push the, the seam on the lining and then top stitch it or give it, give it a stitch at the top. It's all done and I'm trimming the excess out. I'm going to be trimming everything. So it's all done and it's time to fix our band to the skirt. Now on this side, we're going to place it on the side seam. And then the part that has the fusing will be on the main fabric. So side seam to side seam. So we'll match the other side seam as well. We're going to stitch all the way. and stop here so it's all done next thing to do is to fold this by half an inch and press but before then i'd like to reduce the extension on one side to this band because i just want only one part to overlap on the other side on the other part so i stitch and then i cut it out So I'm just pushing out the angle. Now when you close the zipper, this is how it's looking. This is the overlap I was talking about. So now I've gone ahead to press this, the lining part by half an inch, close it by half an inch. So we're going to stitch along this part. Make sure you face it to the right side and stitch all the way so our skirt is 99.9 percent .9 ready can you see the stitch both inside and inside laying perfectly and i've gone ahead to hand the hemline 99.9 .9 percent ready because we still need to fix our hook and eye or press button or if you want to fix a button make a button hole but I advise who can i am in it's easier so if you find this video useful 
please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.